So 2000, 2017 was probably one of the most difficult years of my life. I managed to lose something which I spent five years building, but I also managed to find myself and come to realize what's truly important around me. This allowed me to rebuild my entire, uh... well you know what, why don't I just show you. 2017 began with me brewing a beer at home, something that I'd not done for a long time, and my keg chiller broke. So I took apart an old freezer and I fixed my keg chiller. I answered some questions from my subscribers, I drank some beer, and I spent a lot of time talking about my brewery. You know, the one that I built, Idle Valley Brewery. I got involved in a growler share, something that Tom started, and I also entered the 2017 Spring Smash Off, arranged by Dave Lucas. I built a cask washer, I shared with the world my design for a fermentation temperature control unit, I walked the dog. I completed the cask washer, and in the process, I learned to pig weld. Well, I say learn, I'm not quite there yet. I went to the National SEMA Awards in Sheffield, where I only picked up the bloody gold. I showed you how to fill casks, and I spent a little bit of time making fire in my lab. And then came the difficult part of the year. It came to my attention that somebody was taking advantage of me. Now there are two things that you can do in this situation. You can let them take advantage of you, or you can stop them. I chose the latter. So now I was in the wilderness, not knowing what to do, but I had a bright idea. I found myself new premises. They weren't great, but I had the skills to refurb the place, so that's what I've set about doing for the rest of the year. I put a lot of work into it. It needed a lot of work. I started making videos again for YouTube. I started making sparks. I learned how to pickle eggs and I tried to learn how to upholster chairs. And I also taught myself to spend more time with my family. We went on a Halloween walk in Rufford Park. We had a great day out. We watched cars drive through rivers. And speaking of cars, well, ours kind of died on us. So we had to buy a new one. Oh, and I also had to fix the brakes on it. I drove to Nottingham a lot. I drove to Grantham quite a bit. I did a little bit of work for a friend of mine, Phil, at Beerheads. In fact, I helped him open up his new pub in Nottingham. I used gratuitous shots of grinding sparks because I wanted to show off the fact that I'd bought a new grain mill. I put the grain mill on a piece of worktop and ran it with a drill. It's great! I made up with Tom. We went to a maze maze. It was amazing. He choked on what he thought was an edible nut. Not the only nuts he's had in his mouth. He fell off some hay bales. He came to the brew shed. We opened the brew shed. This is our new pub. The brew shed. Me, my brother Stuart and Gemma spent most of the summer opening this place up. Stuart had his birthday here. He didn't know he was having it here. I can't take all the credit for this place though. I mean Stuart and Gemma helped massively and of course all of the customers have. In fact the customers like us so much they actually voted us a best pub in North Nottinghamshire for autumn. Thanks guys. And before the year's out I'm probably going to go and see Tom just one last time because 2018 is definitely going to be a better year.